hello guys today in this video i am going to show you how you can add a new gameplay ability in lyra so let's get started first of all we have to decide for which map we want to add that ability because every single map in lyra have a different kind of experience experience this one is a kind of data asset in which we will add all the things required for that map like uh, uh, different kind of uh, abilities inputs and all those things that uh, experience will handle so for this video we will add that new ability in this l underscore expansion map so i will just go in this if you go in the world setting of this uh, map you will find a default gameplay experience this experience consists of all those things like uh, all those settings and abilities inputs all those things so we will just open this browse to this oh, it's already open here so i will just open this one inside this one you will find a lot of data assets these data assets are the only thing which are uh, controlling all those uh, things uh, that should go on in this map while playing this game so for our thing we have to uh, about abilities we have to go inside the default pawn data this is the uh, thing which consists of all those abilities if you double click on this and open it you will find three more data assets inside this one first of all we have to go inside this ability set shooter this data asset consists of all those gameplay abilities that are required for this map so i will just open this data asset inside this you can take a look like this is our hero jump gameplay ability death gameplay ability dash emote and a lot of different kind of gameplay abilities so for our thing we are also going to create a new gameplay ability and uh, that ability inside that ability we will just create a uh, like super powerful ability which will kill all of those uh, enemy players at once if they are in certain kind of radius okay so let's create our gameplay ability and for creating my gameplay ability i will just create that gameplay ability near that melee gameplay ability inside this folder only i am going to create this is only for tutorial so uh, after this i will be deleting it mainly so i will just create a new gameplay ability here and make sure it's the lyra gameplay ability class and i will name it and inside this one i will create my add by code which i need to do when activating this ability but before that i will add this gameplay ability inside my data asset so inside my ability set underscore hero shooter i will add a new thing i will just add click plus here i will add new thing here here i will choose my ga mask skill after adding my gameplay ability in this data asset i will add a input tag also and for input tag i will create a add a new sub tag under this input tag and i will just name it mask skill and i will add this inside my default gameplay text dot ini and click on add new tag and i will choose this mask skill tag and i will save this data asset and now we have to add inputs for our thing so we will go back to our hero data shooter game data asset inside this we will choose this input data hero so now we have to add a input action for our ability and we need a input action and we have to give it a gameplay tag the same gameplay tag which we gave here we have to give here for our input action so i will add a create a new input action for this one i will just create wherever these things are i will create a new input action i will name it yeah masks mask skin and now i will select this i will go inside my input data hero i will add a click plus here i will add this input action here and give it the input tag mask skin now this one this thing is also done now we have to add this inside our mapping context so for that we have to go inside our um, uh, experience and inside this we have to select this data asset and layer shooter game shared input inside this we will find two of these input mapping contexts so i will choose this imc default inside this one i will add my mapping 
So in this is I a mask fill, and I will choose like whenever I press U, uh, U button on my keyboard, it will activate this gameplay ability and kill everybody in a certain radius if it's of opposing team. So all those things have been done here. And so for testing our uh, our gameplay ability, if it's working or not, I will print, uh, add a print string here. If it's even activating, it will print this thing. I will compile and save. And let's play this once. So now if I press E, you can see in the corner, it activated mask skill. So our ability is working. Now we can add our code here for doing some kind of dangerous things. So I will start uh, adding my functionality inside this uh, ability. So in this ability, I am going to uh, create some functionality which we can kill everybody in a certain radius if they belong to the opposing team. Okay, so let's get started. And for doing this, I will first of all, I will get uh, the function. What was the name? Yeah, get all actors of class. And inside this, I will choose my main pawn. And our main pawn will be this one. Everybody AI and uh, opposing team and our team is going to use the same pawn. So I will just get all those actors from this class. After that, I will do a for each loop. And after that, I will verify if these guys have the ability system component or not. I will get the ability system. If it's valid, only then I want to proceed. And after this, the, we have to get a subsystem. Get Lyra team subsystem. And from this, we can compare the teams. Now we want to compare this one this will be our a and uh, second one will be our own pawn so for that one we will use get lyra character from actor info and we will compare this and if uh, both of are from the same team we don't want to do anything because we don't want to kill our own own guys so if it's a different team then only we want to kill those guys Okay, so if they belong to, um, to a different team. So if they belong to a different team and they are in a certain radius and for that I will get this sector location. And after that I will get the actor location of our pawn also. And I will use the distance function for this distance to the vector. And I will compare it. And if the distance is less than, for example, like 700 centimeters, then only I want to kill those guys. After checking this, I will apply the gameplay effect. And for that, I will get my ability system component. For that, I will choose this function get Lyra ability system component from actor info. I will call the function apply gameplay effect to target. And for the gameplay effect class, I am going to use the Lyra created GE underscore melee melee gameplay. Uh, gameplay effect uh, it will cause 100% damage so everybody in this in this 700 centimeter radius will die if those belongs to our opposing team and i will take this one and i, I will give it the reference of this uh, ability system for the target now it will apply to the opposing team only so for level i will just set it to one only now in this ability, after doing all those things, I will end this ability also. And uh, on the completed function, first I will add a delay. 
and the delay will be of three second so okay, i will be able to activate this ability only after three second after activating it once so in the completed i will add the and ability so our ability is complete now we can test this also let's play test this now i will just run to my enemy team and try to kill them before they kill me these boats are like very hard to kill those guys are here i will steal them yeah i reached near them near that and that guy died but for confirming it properly that our ability is working i will just increase the radius to one and like i think 2500 for confirming if it's working properly or not because those boards are very hard to kill when i'm reaching those guys are killing me instantly maybe i can kill them from far away now i will just go on those guys are there I will just press you and those guys should die. You can see both of guys died. Let's play test this one last time. These are the guys. I just pressed you. Both of those guys died and our ability is working properly. If you guys have any kind of doubts in this video, you can join my Discord channel or drop a comment here. On Discord, we can chat about these kind of things and if you are having any kind of issues, I will try to solve all of them. And uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That will help me a lot. And if you want to support these kind of videos, you can join my Patreon also. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.